Hi, I'd like to talk to you about a place called the Wolf Apartments here in Spokane, Washington. They're located at 240 West Spray Avenue. That's right downtown, right in the middle of Spokane's basically skid row area. The 285 a month single room occupancy here. They have four community kitchens per floor. They also have three community bathrooms that you use. That's not the reason I want to talk to you about the Wolf Apartments here in Spokane. I want to talk to you about the Wolf Apartments because they're basically being ran unsafely. What do I mean by unsafe? For one, you're not supposed to let people in from the street here in Spokane if you live here. I know for a fact some people have been letting people in here from the streets. The apartments they constantly get broken into here. Items get stolen here. This is supposed to be a secured building. That's a joke because it, it is the most unsecured building here in Spokane. They won't do anything about it here. Yesterday, someone broke into my apartment. They stole my uh, PlayStation 2. They stole Grand Theft Auto 3. They stole Vice City. They stole The Godfather. They left me with Ratchet and Clank. Two Ratchet and Clank games. A video box that was empty that had Scarface in it. What else did they do? They also stole every bit of my wash money. The place is owned by a guy by the name of Jason Wolf. One of these bleeding hearted liberals. Because he will rent, pe rent to people straight from prison recommended by our beautiful state of Washington it's Department of Correction as far as I'm concerned the only thing they should have corrected was the fact that these people breathe they're fucking thieves now let's get down to it I'm a little angry as you can tell excuse my language because the simple fact is honest people shouldn't have to protect themselves from the dishonest. It should be the other way around. The dishonest should have to protect themselves by running out of town. The Montana Vigilance Committee had it right when they hung Henry Plummer because the crime shot down. Report all you want burglaries here in the Wolf Apartments to the police. They'll come out, they'll take a report, they'll investigate to see what's wrong. But that's as far as it goes because they won't carry the investigation any further than that. I would suggest that people here protect themselves illegally because a cop sure as hell won't protect you. That is just not right. Because you know why the cops won't protect you here? Because they don't get their coffee and done it. Because they can't write any tickets while they're investigating real crime. Do yourself a favor if you come to Spokane or you're going to move. I'll from some place you're living here in Spokane. Avoid the wolf apartments. Your stuff is not even safe in the bathroom or even in the community kitchens here. They will rip off your food if you use their community kitchen. You have to buy a refrigerator to protect your food. You have to store your food in your room. 
If you leave your shampoo, body wash, and scrub brush for one minute to get a towel, someone will steal this stuff from you. There's a lady that lives two doors down from me in this building. She's freaking crazy. If she sees your stuff, she'll throw it out the window. Onto the tavern roof next door. They ran to one lady down on the second floor here. She's a known drug addict and a thief. Well, Jason Wolf's only concern is have you been convicted of a drug offense? Have you been evicted from any place? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Jason's wall standard is too low. He should add burglary and shoplifting. Because that would end the damn theft here. Bye-bye.